They are the legendary stars of big game fishing, famous for their agility, speed, and power. Billfish, particularly the sailfish, these are like the cheetahs of the sea. Billfish is on almost any fisherman's bucket list. To me, it's the anticipation of the bite. You're sitting there, watching your teasers, your baits, and when that fish comes in the spread, that's when everything starts getting real excited and you're, you're waiting for the bite and you get the bite, you get them hooked up, start fighting the fish and chasing them down, watching them jump. I think that's what makes it all really cool. It's a real thrill. Whenever you catch a fish that's a strong fighter, there is an adrenaline rush. <laughs> They're such a beautiful animal. They're very acrobatic when they fight. And it's just a good feeling to catch one, give it a pet or a kiss on the cheek and turn it loose and watch it swim away again. One of the hot spots for bill fishing is the eastern tropical Pacific. It's the area of the world where you have the highest catch rates without a doubt. Commercial fishermen also frequent the region for its tuna and mahi-mahi. Very large industrial longline fleets are operating in the area where more than 300 million hooks are permanently soaking in the water. And we're concerned about the fact that billfish are bycatch in these fisheries. The fishing mortality that is being exerted on the billfish is very high these days, about twice as high as the resource can sustain. What impact will this growing competition for a finite resource have on billfish long term? Can the commercial and sport fishing industries coexist?